twelve thirty p.m. Marcus, what the hell is going on with your girlfriend? Everyone is hungry. She hasn't showed up yet. Is she playing with us? <laughs> Honey, I've got some good news for you. You passed my mom's test. Great. Is there a red envelope for me? Red envelope is a must. Come to my home the day after tomorrow. My mom said she would give you a huge red envelope. Why am I going to your house again? What do you mean? It's my mother's birthday. My sister's family will be back to celebrate the birthday. You're such a good cook. Just in time to show off your skills. My mother will give you a huge red envelope after the party. Oh, I see. I already promised my parents about it. On that day, you will have the kitchen. I am sure your skills will please everyone. So you should start studying the recipe for the birthday. This is a great chance to get all of them to approve of you. Everyone, I thought you said your parents were pleased with me. Who else should we be waiting for? Of course, it's my sister. As soon as my sister says yes, everything will be fine. Why would you listen to your sister? Don't you have any control over your own business? You don't know. My sister has a big voice in our family. I grew up listening to her. So you need to put up a good show. Looks like joining your family is much more difficult than I thought. Anyway, I have explained what to do to you clearly. If you want to marry me this year, you should set your mind on this party. Don't drop the ball at this. By the way, you should prepare a gift for my mother. It cannot be a cheap one, because it is out of rank. My sister has been around, you know. She treats normal items like dirt. And on that morning, you should need to get up early for the groceries. You should make many and unique dishes. My sister loves seafood. You'd better serve more seafood. You got me confused. Is this your mom's birthday after all, or your sister's birthday? Why does everything have to concern about your sister? Of course, it's my mom's birthday. But my whole family would be happy as soon as my sister is happy. Your sister would be the honored guest according to you. I wonder if she will help with the cooking. What are you thinking? How could she possibly help you as she is the honored guest as you mentioned? Even if she wants to, my parents will not allow it. Since she won't help me with the dinner, well, they're going to be you. Are you kidding me? Could a man do that kitchen work? And this is in my home. How would you put on a show if I help? So, on your mother's birthday, neither of you would help me with the cooking. Is your entire family waiting for me to serve you as a stranger? What stranger? You'll be part of our family soon. Isn't that why you're supposed to do such work? The most important thing is that I fought for your best chances to show up. So you're gonna have to pay more attention to the party these days. I get it. You can relax. I won't let you down. Good. I am busy for the next two days. I need to accompany my mother to pick out a present for my nephew, apart from my job. So I will not reach out to you. Okay. Go get your things done first. I will prepare your mom's birthday seriously too. I was right about you. You're so sweet. Remember, the gift cannot be cheap. And prepare a high-grade present for my nephew. That would definitely make my sister happy. No problem. I'll take care of everything. The second day, Marcus, come and help me. What's going on? What happened to you? I took the afternoon off to select a present for your mother. I thought jewelry should be appropriate if I wanted something fancy. This gold necklace mounted with jade strikes my fancy. But it's so expensive. How much is the necklace? Nearly $5,000. I wonder if it's too expensive. A little bit. Could you find something else? Just pick something you can afford. Around $1,500. But I think this necklace is the one that best fits your mother. I don't like anything else. And you said your sister would be there. So I wanted to give your mother something elegant and classy for a birthday present for the first time. That's a good idea. My mom would definitely love something that expensive. I think you should buy it. Of course I want to buy it. But I lent my money to my friend some time ago. It's not due until next month. Didn't you only lend 5,000 RMB? I think you should have some money left. I actually lent out the entire $50,000. I'm sorry. 
now I really regret it. I wish I hadn't let it out. I wouldn't be embarrassed about the necklace now. So you don't have money for jewelry and groceries for the party? Well, you should figure it out soon. I'm trying. That's why I came to you. You buy groceries and presents to my home, and you want me to pay for it? What's the difference between me buying things by myself? You might find someone else to borrow the money. But my other friends don't have money except you. Rest assured that you're only lending me money for a while. I'll give it back to you as soon as I have it. You won't lose out. And most importantly, I'm gonna make your family happy with this necklace. And there will be a great birthday feast. I'm sure you'll all be happy. Alright, how much do you need? I will transfer to you and make sure you would pay me back. That's for sure. Plus, a present for your nephew. And the ingredients to buy for the feast. I want you to transfer me $20,000. You're so good at spending money. That's a lot to spend all at once. We should save some money in the future. Only this time. But I believe my efforts will be rewarded. Alright. Money sent. Received. Watch my show. 10.20 a.m. on Marcus's mother's birthday. Marcus! Didn't Valerie say she was going to cook us a big meal today? It's almost noon. Why hasn't she come yet? Why don't you call and see what's going on? Okay, right away. Valerie, why aren't you here yet? Everybody's waiting for you. I'll be there in a minute. All right then. 11.30 a.m. What's the matter with you? It's almost 12 o'clock. It'll be too late for lunch. Don't rush me all the time. You'll see my good show. What do you mean? I'll bring it over once I'm done. All right. 12.30 p.m. Marcus, what the hell is going on with your girlfriend? Everyone is hungry. She hasn't showed up yet. Is she playing with us? Don't worry, sister. I'll make another call and find out. It's past 12 o'clock, my big chef. Why don't you come? Everyone is hungry. You can cook your own meals if you're hungry. What do you mean? What about bringing the meal here? I'm sorry. The meals were supposed to be brought to your house. But I hung up with my friends last night. I'm too tired now, so I'm gonna get some sleep. Don't you realize today? It's my mom's birthday. You promised to show off your skills. Why are you saying this now? You are so funny. Your mom's birthday isn't my mom's birthday. What am I gonna do there? But didn't you already promise me? I fought for your chances to show off. Well, thank you very much. You might keep that for yourself. And for your queen mother and princess sister. Whoever likes to serve them will do their part. I don't have time for that. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Didn't you even pick out the presents? I thought you said you wouldn't let me down. I did pick out the present, but it is not for your mother. It's for me. Now I will say it to you. We broke up at the day I met your parents. From the moment I stepped outside your front door, we are over. Are you blaming me for not taking you home? It was such a hot day. Do you want me to wait for the bus with you in the sun? My mother would feel heartache for letting me walk in the sun. How could you not understand me? I guess I made a mistake. To be exact, I think our relationship is over since I walked through your door. What's wrong with our family? My mom did give you a big smile. Yeah, your mom was nice to me. But before that, she must have asked you a lot about my preferences. So what? It's not unusual for her to ask. Since she knows I hate to eat scallions or coriander, why did she add scallions or coriander in every dish? Wasn't that on purpose? I thought these were coincidences, thinking all of the hard work she's done. I cannot turn down her kindness. I swallowed it. But when she saw me finish the dishes, she was so proud to tell your father that anyone with bad habits would get better under her education. Your father praised her for what she did. So your mother was giving me a lesson when I went to your house for the first time. My mom did the right thing. She said if you're too fussy about food, you will get insufficient nutrition. It's hard for us to have kids then. She's doing it for your own good. 
Oh, so I was wrong about her. And I wanted to accompany your family after dinner. But they just left laughing and talking. They just ignored me. Is this your hospitality? You're supposed to leave after the dinner, but you didn't. My parents thought you were staying to clean up the mess. That's why they think you're diligent. And they want to pass down the whole family to you one day. Thank you so much for this. What a great deal they think of me. Wanting me to handle the entire family. Am I a free servant? What's wrong with that? My mom did the same thing. Women are supposed to do the laundry, cook, and keep the house clean. Isn't that a natural thing? Looks like this trip to your house was worth it. I just wanted to have fun with you. But I didn't know you had the vicious thought in your bones. That's a shame that I could not outmarry myself to a family like yours. But I feel pretty lucky that I can see through your family. What are you talking about? Should it matter that you got mad because of this? How can you be so unreasonable? What's wrong with my parents saying something about you? How dare you say that? I was treated unfairly for my first time at your house. What about 5 or 10 years of marriage? I could already see my future life with your family. And I know what will happen to me when I marry into your family. So now, I'm cutting my losses. Since you decided to break up with me in the first place, then why did you agree to cook me a birthday meal? Are you playing with us? If I didn't strike first, how can I verify my thought? If I don't say yes first, how do I get back what I've offered to you for a year? What do you mean by that? Don't you want to pay back the money you borrowed from me? I'm supposed to ask you the same question. You borrowed at least 500 to 2,000 RMB repeatedly. Have you paid me back once? I did my calculation when I got back from your house. How much we spent this year and how much you borrowed is almost $20,000. But if I had just asked you directly, you're not gonna give it back to me. What a coincidence. You want me to buy groceries for your mom's birthday and fancy gifts. And you want me to flatter your sister. I met the plot with a plot. I can't believe that you're scheming and plotting. I can still remember when you left my house. You were so happy to say goodbye to us. And now we've come to this. I said goodbye to you with a smile. Including every action and smile in your home was from my upbringing. If I just ask you for the money, do you dare to say that you would give it back to me? I borrowed the money on my own. And I will not return it after breaking up. Precisely. Then you can blame me for getting my money back in this way. Because I'm doing this by my own. How shameless your entire family. Wanting me to cook a big meal and to serve you. I have nothing to do with you from now on. So long then.